Hey guys, what's up? We already covered almost all the Go language topics. You guys can go and check it out. Go language playlist. I covered almost all the topics of the Go language. Now we'll start the Go language REST service. Now we'll make a professional project. Inside in it, we will make the server. We'll use the custom routing also like Jin, Marks or might be the cheap package. We'll make the professional project using the REST API or GraphQL also. Later on, we will make the microservice also and definitely we will write down the unit testing also. Yes. So before the REST service, if we need to be distribute some business object, guys, we have XML, RPC. After that, people was using soft based web services. In 2000 around, people start using the REST service. After that, we got JSON RPC, then GraphQL, then grpc so right now in the market we are using rest service grpc service and graphql service so we'll start with the rest service a rest service is a representation state transfer is a type of the service that follow the principle of the rest an architecture style of designing network application rest service allow different system to communicate over the internet using http method method like get post put delete patch these are the method resource means in rest everything is treated as a like as a resource which can anything such as a user product document anything can be http method means get post put delete all are the std method so guys before the rest service means routing or so based service we need to consume or discoverables server url and it was tightly bound to the technology also means if we made a service in java then only compatible client should be can coordinate or whoever can understand the SOAP message. And guys, this message is also very heavy because we have extra envelope around it. But with the REST service, we got a freedom to communicate to any client who will follow the REST architecture. And it's very lightweight. One more thing guys, REST service is stateless. REST service are stateless means each request from the client and server must contain all the information of the servers needed to fulfill the request. The server does not store any session information between the request. Means server and client don't know about it whom they are communicating. They have, if they need to be communicate, they will send some communications data like token so that they will understand whom they are coordinating it. Data format of the REST services guys, either we can use JSON or XML. Right now the people are preferring JSON only because that is more lightweight to the XML. So, Right now, as you guys saw it also REST means we'll meet a service and that service we can access on web, mobile or even IoT device also. So the client could be anything who will follow the REST architecture. So REST meaning, so as I told you REST meaning stateless means when the client need to be communicated to the server, client will send whatever the server necessary information this means content type also token or get post put delete whatever the method they want to communicate it so the guys this is all about the rest service again guys rest api is the backbone of many modern application it's enabling efficient communication data exchange between different system so in go language rest service can create very easily guys we can just make simply a server that will handle the http request now let's jump on the coding part we will make a simple server applications so here we'll use the net http package so http handle functions if we get a request on a slash what we wanted to do so we'll say simply handle root. and this functions we will create over here handle root and yes we will receive the two parameter one is response another one is the request and here we simply print the message only this is using with the response we are just simply message so welcome Welcome to Colang server. Welcome to Colang server. This simple message we wanted to print it. So it is not done. Now we need to create a server also. So to create a server, so suppose we are displaying this message, server is running on 8080 port. Now this HTTP package is guys very powerful package. It has all the function what we require to run a server or to make a service also. We'll use another functions. Yes, this one only listen server on 8080 port any port we can give it but by default it will run on localhost we can give any different ip address also if we have some http handler means some routing kind of stuff that thing we will provide it over here right now we didn't need it but in the future we will make it so let's run it to run this once we will simply write down go run main.go go we'll hit and we can see main.ex it will asking us to devara to allow yes and our server is running now we can go on the browser and we can test localhost 8080 now we can see we got welcome to the call language server and this message is coming from here only 
right so right it's very easy to make a server so it's very similar to make a server in node.js also it's almost same right now we need to make the apis we need to handle the codes we need to be make the custom header also and definitely authentication jwt token also and so many other things also so that application we will make in another video guys so thank you guys thanks for watching the video see you in the next video till the time happy coding